my creatives and welcome to another video so today it is hashtag take 5 art challenge day woohoo and we are here today to share the prompts with you and our projects so i first uh, will start off with the prompts for this month and they were chosen by lovely sylvia so the prompts are add lyrics of a song you like include tea bag or coffee filter play with a monochromatic color palette use two stamps or two stencils and rub-ons so if this went so fast for you the prompts will also be in the description box i will also post them on my community tab and they are also on instagram if you want to have a look at them and now without any further ado i will tell you what i am actually doing so today i'm working in my small dilutions journal because i knew i wanted to use some uh, media and you see them already laying there i knew i wanted to use my distress oxides and i started off by putting rub-ons on my page now i have these rub-ons in my stash because someone sent them to me i don't like rub-ons they're not really my thing so i don't buy them so if you don't have rub-ons make a substitute for them uh, you can put gesso through a stencil and create a resist effect what i'm going to do here or just use some stickers don't feel like you can't do the challenge because you don't have any rub-ons or other uh, items on this list uh, they are there to just spark your creativity and you should just be able to join if you would like to and not feel restricted by the prompts so that's the first thing that I wanted to say. Uh, then I also added some collage with my new Tim Holtz tissue paper. Yay! Oh, I love it. I love it. And now I am working with my Distress Oxides. And I am going for a, co a blue color palette or a blue monochromatic color palette. Of course. Um, and I'm using my new Speckled Egg Distress Oxide, which I absolutely love. I love this color. It was amazing to work with. And you saw me at first... Uh, starting out with putting the distress oxides on my mat and then uh, put my book in there but it didn't really go as i wanted it to go it was still too much on one place so that's why i decided to take this plastic bag and do like the smooshing technique and put my distress oxides on there that way so I like um, dry them in between uh, every layer uh, to make sure that they will not mix too much together. But that's also a beautiful property of the distress oxides is that you can layer colors on top of each other that usually make mud. So they are a very, very cool product to work with. And I'm actually very, very happy with this background. Uh, and you will see you now see the rub-ons peeking through that i used in this journal and like i said i don't really like rub-ons it's just because i had them in my stash because someone sent them to me uh, but it's not uh, something i buy so never feel like you have to buy a anything for this challenge just switch out a prompt for something else and you are good to go let us know what you changed up in the prompts uh, because we would love to hear that and love to see what you did now moving on with one of my favorite stamps and I stamped with some white ink and now I'm stamping with some cobalt and now I'm taking one of my new stencils to create some marks. At first I thought I wanted to use the Distress Oxide but you couldn't really see it so I decided to grab my white paint and just use some paint to create this, these marks on my page. For this page today, uh, we also had to pick a song uh, which you like. And uh, I didn't go for a song. Um, well, of course, I do like the song, but I wasn't really a song that I liked. It was more a song that touched my feelings. So while making this process video, I had that song on repeat so I could feel the feelings and feel the emotions and put them on my page. And that is how this page turned out to be. I'm also going to use some of my new washi tapes to help with my collage. I really love these Dino Weekly washi tapes. Uh, I love the scribbled faces. I think they give such an extra dimension and they are so nice to work with. And I, I missed a little bit of a board Border. and uh, this time no dually border but I created a border with my distress oxide black soot and if you want to know what I used there is always a list of supplies in the description box and if I can find it online there are links just beware that there sometimes are affiliate links and sometimes not but if you are ever wondering what I used a full list of supplies is in the description box so now I'm going to create my collages. I am very much into using washi tape for my collages and layering up washi tapes. I am very much feeling that you also see that in my junk journal videos. And I also do that a lot in my creative journaling. So this is something that I very much enjoy. Uh, with this washi tape, it was just a little bit too white. So I took the sponge from the Distress Oxide to create a little bit of a blue color there. So it wasn't as stark white. 
And now I'm going in with the tea bag. So you can also use a tea bag that is already filled and just empty it out and use it. But this one was sent to me by one of you guys. So I thought I would use that because it's still in my stash. And uh, I love to use my stash. So that's why I decided to use that tea bag. And I'm going to color it with my Distress Oxides. But I'm also going to use some other products to color this. And I really, really love the texture. It looked amazing and it looks amazing on my page. I absolutely love this prompt. So you can use a coffee filter or a tea bag and just clear out the tea from the tea bag and do the same thing that uh, as I am doing and I'm using several sprays some distress stains some uh, dilutions and I'm just layering up the pieces and drying it off and this created this very very cool pattern on this fabric and I absolutely love this texture look at how cool this looks on my background absolutely absolutely love this so I'm going to rip it up because I like the ripped edges and also because of the theme that I am art journaling about uh, this page is also a very healing one for me on a mental health aspect and I will get there in a little bit But first I'm going to use my new Dina Weekly stamps and uh, these are the flowers and I'm going to stamp them out with my Tim Holtz stamp platform uh, because then I can re-stamp them if I didn't do it properly at once but it was perfect. They stamped immediately just perfect and I absolutely love the look of them so I'm just using some jet black for that um, archival ink to make sure that it will not run. And after I'm done stamping, I'm going to fussy cut them out because I want to have them on the page. I left them white because I really wanted to have the contrast with the blue. And because we had to use a monochromatic color scheme, I chose blues, black and white, of course, to create a monochromatic color scheme. And that's what you see here on my page. And I also picked these three flowers because they symbolize growing for me. Um, they are in different stages of blooming, these flowers, and that is... Um, that really fitted my page. So that is why I chose to use all three of them. And I'm just going to play around with my uh, collage a little bit. Because I wasn't quite sure when I wa wanted to put my things. Uh, I like my embellishments to be grounded. Uh, so it was a little bit of figuring out where I wanted to put my flowers. So it didn't look like they were floating. And also uh, I have to add this, uh, some lyrics to a song. And I wasn't quite sure yet on how I wanted to do that. So I'm just playing around here. Uh, this will completely change. <laughs> just so you know. Uh, but now I'm going to move on to my song lyrics. And the song that I chose is uh, Love, uh, Lose You to Love Me from S Selena Gomez. And for me, it is not about uh, a lost love. Uh, for me, it is about my... Um, past and about a parent I had to say goodbye to to well heal I feel better I have no contact with one of my parents and that is uh, very much better for me and my mental health but I never really journaled about that and our journaling is for me also a way to process feelings or accept feelings and this really popped up so I think this was still something uh, that is happening I'm also going through therapy at the moment and I think I'm going into this phase of closure I never really journaled about that it was goodbye so uh, I, for me, this was a very, very healing, healing process. And uh, that is what art journaling does for me. I art journal for fun, but I also most of the times I art journal because there is something bothering me or some feelings I have to go out. And that's with sad feelings, but also with very, very happy feelings. Uh, my art journals are a reflection of my life, of who I am. And this, um, that's also why this song really pulled me in. Um, I needed to journal about this and that's also why I picked the flowers because I feel like since I said goodbye I am blooming I am more myself I've never been myself before I, I cannot be myself with this parent so um, now I feel like there's somewhat of a closure and it's really yeah really well so that is why I put the song on repeat while making this page to really get in touch with that feeling and for me I see my feelings inside my brain so I see colors for my feelings or I see a certain texture or I see a certain stamp that resonates with the feeling in my brain and also this is how I communicate um, 
So if I show this to Oots, my husband, he understands what this is about because he can see my feeling on the page. Sometimes I don't have words for my feelings and then art journaling really, really helps uh, to process them. And also uh, this gives me time to reflect on this certain subject and really dig deep inside myself. So it was a good, very good page for me to make and to find somewhat of a closure or knowing that I am working towards this closure to really you know close the book or close the chapter of my life uh, that has been with this parent and move forward and that's it's really it feels really really good so i i really enjoyed that i uh, put on purposely some more of the lyrics so i wrote down i needed to lose you to find me this dancing was killing me softly i needed to hate you to love me i needed to lose you to love me and now the chapter is closed and done and now it's goodbye it's goodbye for us and it really, really helped. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to play along with the Take 5 Art Challenge, post your page on Instagram with hashtag Take 5 Art. If you make a video, I would love to receive a link from you so I can add you to the monthly playlist. If you like this video, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up. I would also love it if you would consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Put the notification bell on all notifications. You can also become a patron of mine. Link to that is in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you all next time. Bye!